All right, hello guys. Um, yeah, I don't know how this video is gonna turn out because uh, I just well, I was gonna do this shell holder review and installation for you. Um, but I just heard like six gunshots, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but uh. Yeah, actually yesterday, um, I actually posted a video, but one guy got shot just across the street, and there was a stray bullet that hit our attic, and uh, yeah, this neighborhood's going to shit, but um, so I don't know how this video is going to go, so I apologize if I got to pause and go check on things, because uh, yeah, there was seriously, I was just about to, right before I pushed play, I heard gunshots. So, um, but you know, luckily for me, I got my shotgun ready. Obviously, I got a bunch of 12-gauge ammo. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's get started. So yeah, I got, I picked up this um, Trinity shell holder. Um, it holds six six uh 12 gauge rounds and um man it was it was only like 20 bucks so i mean if you're looking for something just something quick you could you could an easy you could put on your on your shotgun just to hold some extra rounds just have have some more rounds ready to go um i think this would definitely be the the item to get and there's a lot of companies that make their own versions too um so basically, it's made in America too, which is awesome. So basically, it's Velcro. And you got the sticky side. And you just peel this off. And then you just put it on the receiver like this. And one thing I recommend before um, installing this is to get some alcohol in a washcloth and go ahead and just kind of like for whatever you want to use and just uh degrease the receiver a little bit before you put this on that way it adheres adheres to the receiver a little bit better um which i already done that and i let it air dry so uh and one thing that i was looking at because this is um this isn't a car turkish shotgun and when i was putting it over the receiver i'm already hearing the sirens but um you see these trigger group pins right here i i don't know if i'm a huge fan of putting this over that um it's not like i'll i mean ever really have to take those pins out um i mean when you're cleaning this thing you really don't need to take the trigger group out or anything plus if i plus i would have to take the stock off anyways to get to the to, to take the trigger group out but um it's still it still kind of bothers me just a little bit but you know i don't think it'll be a big deal plus it's i mean it was 20 bucks if i have to take the trigger pins out that's fine i'll just you know rip this off and they also make, you know, I got this nice stock right here that I could always, um, there's, um, I can always attach a shell holder to the stock too if I ever wanted to. But just for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and install this anyways. Um, and what's cool about this too is, so basically, you just slap your shell holder on. Once this is on the gun, you just slap the shell holder on. And you can actually buy like off eBay or whatever, where, you know, a bunch of other sites, just extra ones of these. So you can have like five of these ready to go. Um, you know, if you're at the range, um, once you use all the shells out of the holder, you can just slap a new one on, which I, you know, I like that. That's pretty cool. Makes it easy. But uh, let's go ahead and put this bad boy on. So I'm going to go ahead and I already degreased it. 
And I went ahead and I racked the forehand all the way back so I know not to install this too far forward so the forehand doesn't get in the way. All right, so let's just go ahead and evenly put this on. Make sure it's nice and straight. Like that. That looks pretty good. I mean, I could always cut this a little bit of this off but that's probably not a big deal i mean how easy is that honestly done <laughs> so i mean that's pretty pretty simple upgrade you could do for your gun for sure so i'm just gonna press this down really good make sure it sticks to the receiver really well oh, sorry And booyah. There you go. I mean, that's probably the easiest thing I've ever put on a gun. So let's go ahead and put some rounds in it. Or we'll put some rounds on the in the shell holder. See what it see what it looks like. And I was actually um out of the when I took this out of the uh, the package, I was actually, this is actually built better than I thought it would be. Like, I thought this was going to be a little bit more, you know, flimsy and, and kind of a cheaper material. But it seems like it's pretty, pretty some, some strong material they put on here. So that's, that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and put some rounds in here. I mean, it's new, so it's gonna be a little, a little tight. I think once I leave the the rounds in there for a little while, it'll kind of it'll be a little bit easier to put in and take and take the rounds out. But yeah, 20 bucks. I mean, not bad. Something easy to put on your guns to hold some extra rounds. And I'm putting some heavy, heavy slugs in here. So, just to see how, how strong that Velcro is. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is pretty heavy, so... Yeah, how does that look? It's look too bad. And just to let everybody know I checked the gate the gun. Make sure there wasn't any rounds in the chamber before I started the video, so it's safe. But uh, yep, forehand doesn't get in the way. It's good. Looks like they're they're locked in they're pretty solid and that's tough that's definitely in there and it's got this loop right here so you can just easily grab it and then just slap it on like that yeah that's pretty cool like i said it's stronger than i thought it would be the material looks really nice yeah i like it yeah, definitely, uh, definitely pick you guys up, uh, 
one of these. Like I said, you can get it off of eBay. Plus Trinity, they have a, uh, um, they also have an installation video too. Um, and, and they make a lot of other stuff. They got um, sights, shotgun sights. Um, they got um, slings. They got, um, man, what else, what else? They got a lot of other stuff. I de definitely uh, check out their website. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's as easy as it gets right there, guys. So thanks for watching and um, subscribe, comment, like, and thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.